Now for these questions, we're dividing using short division, but we're going to get remainders in our answers. So first, we have 5,862 divided by 5. So we can set the question out like this, with the number that we're dividing by, or the divisor, on the left. Using short division, we start by dividing the larger place values. So first, we have 5 divided by 5. That's exactly 1, because 1 times 5 is 5. So we don't have a remainder here, so we can move on to the next digit, and 8 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 3. That's because 1 times 5 is 5, but then from 5 we need 3 more, or we need to add 3 to get to 8. So now we have 36 divided by 5. So we need to think of a number in the 5 times table that's as close to 36 as possible, but not more than 36. The closest number to 36 in the 5 times table is 35, and because that's 7 times 5, we write 7 in our answer line. But 7 times 5 is 35, and we were dividing 36. From 35, we need one more to get to 36, so our remainder is 1. But now we have 12 divided by 5. The closest number to 12 in the 5 times table is 10, and that's 2 times 5. But 2 times 5 is 10, and we need 2 more to get to 12, so we get a remainder of 2 in our answer. So that's 1,172 remainder 2. We could have spotted straight away that for this question we were going to get a remainder, because remember, all multiples of 5 end in a 5 or a 0, and here we were dividing a number that ends in a 2. So now we have 4,989 divided by 9. If we look at the first digit, we have a 4, but 4 is less than 9. So when this happens, either we can write 0 and a remainder of 4 in front of the next digit, or we can just take the first two digits together and divide 49 by 9. The closest number to 49 in the 9 times table, which is still less than 49, is 45. And because 45 is 5 times 9, we write 5 in our answer line. But 5 times 9 is 45, and we need 4 more. We need to add 4 to get to 49. So our remainder is 4, and we can write that in front of the next digit. So to check, 5 times 9 is 45, plus 4 is 49. So now we have 48 divided by 9. Again, the closest number to 48 in the 9 times table, which is still less than 48, is 45. 45 is 5 times 9, so we write 5 in our answer, but 5 times 9 is 45, and we need 3 more. We need to count on or add 3 from 45 to get to 48. So 3 is our remainder, and we can write that in front of the next digit. So now we have 39 divided by 9. That's 4 remainder 3, because 4 times 9 is 36, but then, from 36, we need to count on 3 more to get to 39. So our answer is 554 remainder 3. Finally, we have 8,861 divided by 6. If we look at the first digit, 8 divided by 6 is 1 remainder 2, because 1 times 6 is 6, and then we need 2 more to get to 8. Now we have 28 divided by 6, so we need to think of a number in the 6 times table, which is as close to 28 as possible, but not more than 28. The closest number that's still less than 28 is 24, and because 4 times 6 is 24, we write 4 in our answer line. But 4 times 6 is 24, and we need 4 more 
to get to 28, so our remainder is 4. Now we have 46 divided by 6. The closest number to 46 in the 6 times table, which is still not more than 46, is 42. 7 times 6 is 42, but we need 4 more from 42 to get to 46. So to check, 7 times 6 is 42, plus 4 is 46. Now we have 41 divided by 6. The closest number to 41 in the 6 times table that's not more than 41 is 36. We can't use 42 because that would be too many. So 6 times 6 is 36, but then from 36 we need to add 5 to get to 41. So we have 6 remainder 5. Again, remember when we're dividing, the remainder can't be more than the number we're dividing by, or the divisor. So here, because we're dividing by 6, our remainder can only be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And this is a good thing to check once you've finished a question to make sure that you've not made any calculation errors. So our answer is 1,476, remainder 5. So let's take another look at this first question we solved. We had 5,862, so that's 5,800s, 6 tens, and 2 ones. We were dividing by 5, so we can share these place value counters out into 5 groups. We can share out all of our thousands to make 1,000 in each group, so that's why we have 1 as the thousands digit of our answer. So now we can divide our eight hundreds by five. We can share out five of these hundreds to get one hundred in each group, but then we have three hundreds that we can't share out, because remember, when we divide, we need each group to be the same. So our remainder is three, and the reason we can write that three in front of the tens digit, remember we write the remainder in front of the next digit, and we can do that because we can exchange each of our 100 place value counters for 10 tens. So that means we have 36 tens to share out altogether. We can share out 35 of those tens, and we get 7 tens in each of our groups. So that's why we get 7 as the tens digit of our answer. We have one remaining 10, which we can't share out, but we can exchange that 10 for 10 ones, so we get 12 ones. But we can only share out 10 of those ones with two ones in each group. But then there are two ones that we can't share out, and that's why we get a remainder of two as our answer. So then we had 4,989, so four thousands, nine hundreds, eight tens, and nine ones. And we were dividing by nine so we need to share these place value counters out into nine equal groups. We can't share out our thousands because we only have four counters, but we're dividing into nine groups. So what we can do is exchange each of these thousands for ten hundreds. That means that we now have forty-nine hundreds altogether. We can share out 45 of these hundreds, and we get 5 counters in each group, so that's why we have a 5 in the hundreds digit of our answer. And we can write our remainder 4 in front of the tens digit, because instead of 4 hundred counters, we can have 40 ten counters to give us 48 tens altogether. We can share out 45 of these to get 5 tens in each group, and three tens which we can't share out. We can turn these ten counters into ones, and that means that we have 39 ones. But we can only share out 36 of these ones, because remember, when we're dividing, we need equal groups. So we have four ones in each of our groups, but then we have three remaining counters that we can't share out, and that's why our answer is 554 remainder 3, 
because in each of our groups we can have five hundreds, five tens, four ones, but then there are three one counters that we can't share out. 